to Vacation Station, hosted by Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazines.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Blend Radio's Vacation Station Travel Show with Nancy and Lisa. Today, we welcome back travel writer Debbie Stone, who we love to call the fire monkey. She got that name back in Southeast Asia. That was, was it Bhutan tra- Travel? I was going to call it Travel Monkey is your new name. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what it, it is? It was, it's, and it was Bhutan. It was Bhutan. It's because your Twitter handle is Travel Stone, and so That's now right. I'm calling you Travel Monkey. But uh, she's it's not a monkey. monkey. She's quite a lovely lady, uh, and, and she's traveled the world. And recently went to Telluride, Colorado. I mean, this is one heck of a hiking destination. Destination, yeah. nature destination. Uh, but she's joining us to talk about kind travel and. You know, we talk about responsible and sustainable travel on the show all the time. And Nancy and I try and do, you know, you think about volunteering, um, you think about just having an authentic experience, but doing it in the right way. And she had quite an experience there. She hiked, she experienced waterfalls, took a gondola ride. See, she is a monkey (laughs) through the mountains. She enjoyed regional cuisine and stayed at the Lumiere. And I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, as you know, Lumiere with Inspirado. And this is all part of the hotel book, booking platform called kindtraveler.com. I encourage you to go to the website. It's very cool what they're doing. And so she went there. And Debbie's story is up on nationalparktraveling.com. Now just type in Telluride and you'll find it. So welcome back, Debbie. It's quite an introduction you get today. <laughs> I will never lose the the monkey part of the no. name, will I? It's no. Either, you know, fire monkey, travel no, no. monkey. Travel I monkey. Just, you know. Now you get to how be about, a gondola how about, ki- how about kind monkey next? Oh, okay. I like kind monkey. Okay. Okay. Kind monkey. I like that. I like that. Travel kind whole, monkey. I like the whole term kind traveler. It takes it, yes. you know, we, because... I think we get all these buzzwords like responsible tourism. Now it's transformative uh, travel, but kind right. traveler, that is a, I think it's an important term, especially now as a lot of our uh, tourism destinations, whether it's a restaurant, a shop, a hotel, uh, with a lack of um, staff and things moving yes. slower, even just in shops, things aren't coming in there were, you know, parts are delayed, whether you're si- you could buy a bicycle right. and can't get your parts. So we kind of have to have some patience, but I like the word kind mm-hmm. better than patience. Because yeah, I, I, I really um, was drawn to this uh, booking site because the, they're, it's very socially conscious. It's, it's, um, a platform that lets travelers um, have some sort of good impact, a positive impact upon the communities, um, the environment, where they're going to visit, the destinations, the properties. Um, and so I, I was just drawn to it because I thought, you know, it's, it, you, you, you can contribute in some way uh, to that, that place that you're visiting uh, to affect whether it's the, you know, the people, the services, whether it's the, like I said, nature and the environment. Uh, there's all sorts of, of aspects to this program, and each property, uh, such as the Lumiere with Inspirato uh, Hotel, they, the um, – 100% of whatever your donation is goes to that particular cause that the property has earmarked. So nice. um, in the case of the Lumiere with Inspirato, there, the donations there go to the Telluride Foundation. Uh, cool. And in this case, helping to provide emergency medical care to local families who need it. And oh, so awesome. it just, it, it, there is something that is a feel-good component there. And they call it the the give and get kind of uh, program. But there is something that I think empowers travelers in this way. Mm, I like it, too, because you're you're connecting a charity, a local community charity. So it makes you think more of Telluride as a community to get to understand the people behind the destination instead of, you know, just the hike, uh, the amazing things like which we're going to talk about all the hiking and waterfalls and gondolas and food you experience. But. Um, and talk about the hotel too, but I think it's a really cool way to get to understand where you are and to understand what the hotel cares about. 
Exactly. And what I like about it is, like when I said, it's 100% of it. You know how sometimes, you know, you may contribute to an organization, but a, a percentage of that contribution goes for administrative costs, for example. Um, so it's not all of what you're giving that is going to the mm. cause or the people that you'd like to help or whatever it might be. And so in this case, you know that 100% of that donation goes directly to the cause. Mm. And so that makes me feel you know, even better about that. I'm reassured by that because sometimes you just don't know how much really of your contribution is going to direct, you know, instead of uh, a, a middle situation. Mm. And mm. also the um, hotels, you're saying that um, the properties that join kindtraveler.com and ev oh, everyone, you can go to Lumiere with inspirato.com and that's L U M I E R E with inspirato.com. It's I N S P I R A T O. Uh, that these properties, it's not just anybody can sign up. You have to have like a, a cause you believe in, you have to have, uh, you have to care about environmental uh, sustainability. And I think that's really important too. Yeah, and they, they are working. I mean, they're continuously, they started in, I think they started in 2016. So it's been a, you know, a couple of years, but it has really grown. And, uh, you know, it works now with, I think, 140 hotels, 90 charities, 22 countries. Wow. Uh, and so, you know, it has really spread and uh, has become, uh, you know, internationally recognized uh, in this uh, industry in this sustainable tourism uh, world, and uh, they've gotten cool. some recognition and some awards, and I think it's 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 just a really wor worthwhile uh, endeavor. Mm, nice, this is cool. I like and the, it. And the hotel you said it's um, more like residency; it's like a residence hotel almost compared to right. a hotel. But you said it's like a five star hotel because it's still you know luxurious with all these amenities, but like you had a thousand plus square foot room oh i know it was just it, it was uh like incredible. hello that's a house yeah it was a one a one bedroom beautiful you know one bedroom residence you know really spacious really uh you know lots of wonderful that's places huge. ample sitting area dining area full stocked uh, chef's kitchen they put a nice breakfast basket in there so that you, you know, can make your own breakfast in the morning. Mm, uh, the, you know, a cool. nice big king bed, a, a great bathroom, um, washer and dryer, and wow. you know, the d nice deck that you can go out and look at the mountain views. There and then a, another fi gas fireplace. It just, it really kind of had all the bells and whistles, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, I like the location, although it wasn't right in the town center town of of um, Telluride. It's um, in Mountain Village, and you reach it via, you know, you you can drive, of course, up there and drive into Telluride. But the the fun is using the gondolas to get back and forth into town because cool. I mean, how much how much fun That's is it to cool. you know just sit in a gondola <laughs> and look at that gorgeous scenery as you're coming into cool. Telluride. I love it, you know, and no you don't have to worry about parking and driving. It just was like yeah. this is fabulous and then just walk steps to your hotel from, you know, the gondola and the village itself That's is great cool. because it's got, you know, restaurants, it's it's uh, stores, you know, it, it has a, a bit of a, a, a nice area for people to congregate at. And then, you know, you just hop and step into the gondola and 12 minutes later, you're down cool. in the middle of the Telluride. See, yeah. this is the monkey experience, but I like this. See, I like not, that. No drinking and driving, but this is like, what a view to, uh, you know. Here's a monkey on the go. Well, cause it's, well, you know, even you have this photo of uh, the, like the downtown, the village, the little plaza area where you see yes. the gond gondola, gondolas at the, uh, there. And I'm right. going, oh my gosh, they, they look like miniature restaurant booths, like that they could have used during like the main pandemic of COVID. Well, like, you yeah. know, it, yes, <laughs> in that middle, in the middle of the vi that mm -hmm. one village scene with those little gondolas, those were used for um, eating. That's so, what I thought. <laughs> yeah, and they've kept them there, and they're being used. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was cool. a great idea, and it just went in with the whole theme. You know, uh, tell you right itself, a lot of people know it as being this mecca for skiers and snowboarders. But, you know, in the rest of the year, it's this incredible mecca for hikers and mecca for, you know, uh, mountain bikers. And, you know, it's just it, – it, it's, it's an all-season outdoor uh, playground. 
Yeah. But it, it has incredible history, too, because I think um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, their first bank robbery was in Telluride. <laughs> they really? Robbed, yeah, they robbed in like the eight, late mid-1800s. They robbed the San Miguel Bank, their first bank robbery. And oh I, my I, yeah, I think Butch Cassidy was born in Telluride, but or grew up there. Now he's born somewhere else, but he grew up there. And then he just, you know, when he was like a like young twenty year old, him and his buddies robbed the. That was their first bank robbery right there. Oh my god! How about that? And isn't so Buffalo cool Bill Co- didn't Buffalo Bill hang out there too? I'm not I sure. believe so. You know, all those those those. But then, guys, so that, those men, I think that they, you know, were all cool. in and around Colorado, you know, and, you know, New Mexico, Arizona. I mean, they were, you know, they, they every time I go to a different town, it's like, oh, you know, Bill, Co- you know, he was here. Yeah. And, and yes, it's like, yeah. you know, Kit, yeah. Kit Carson was here. And, you know, yes. it's like, there's just so much, there's, there's such a wealth of, of really colorful characters that yeah. you know, were in and cool. around the area. And Telluride is this. It's a you know a beautiful historical old west mm. town. Yeah. Uh, you know that is definitely uh, you know now it it really attracts uh, people who really want the outdoors. I think, and that's I mean it's just it's just one of those quintessential places in, in Colorado. But it is I think it's quite special, and uh, I've been there. Yeah, a couple I times think you now. kind of have this. Um, you know, Oregon. The last time we talked to you about Rogue Valley and. Right. Um, Oregon, um, and I mean you've you've done Oregon a few times over the last couple of years. I say since the pandemic, and I know you've been there before. Um, you kind of have this love affair with Oregon, and I'm seeing more and more like we still have other stories for me to publish on Colorado. I'm thinking that you are kind of uh, attracted to Colorado, like you are with Oregon. You know, it's just, I mean, first of all, it's, its uh, you know, in my backyard, so to speak, living in Santa Fe, so it's really easy to get to Colorado, and it's a great, makes for a great road trip, whether it's a weekend or a week or two weeks or whatever, but there's so much there. I mean, it's so much natural beauty that's, mm-hmm. that is yeah. just, it, it just, it just draws me back all the time, whether it's the mountains or the rivers or the lakes or these archaeological sites and these uh, formations. I, it just, it's, I'm, I never tire of it. Of it because the, that beauty just runs really deep. So Debbie, the one thing, you know, we really want to talk about too, is that you went hiking and I know Telluride in Colorado is such a Mecca for that. It's like, there's, you know, and everyone wears layers when you go to Colorado, but you managed to get out there on some trails um, and do it at the right time. So you didn't get too much like too too much of the the crowd thing that's going on out in our parks and public lands right now. Yeah, you, you know, I when I hike, I I really leave early. I don't want, I mean, uh, I, you know, I have no problem sharing a trail, but to be honest with you, I'd prefer the opportunity to get some uh, solitude, some peace, and some quiet, and really mm-hmm. to be able to. If I'm out there and about in, in nature, that's what I want. I don't want to be in a steady. Uh, single file line of people that are are heading up a trail and then also heading down the trail and having to you know uh, mm. sidestep people. It's just it it and dogs and you know I love I love animals. I think it's great they're out. You know I love the kids that are out there. I love families, but it's just nice uh, when I yeah. can take the opportunity to have have something pretty much to myself. So if I leave really early, uh, I I can get that. And yes, you do wear layers because if you do leave early in the morning yeah. in Colorado, it's 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 colder but there are so many beautiful um uh trails in in this area there's uh, some beautiful waterfalls bridal veil and the bear creek Creek, uh, falls are great and then this uh, lakes you can hike out to lakes i went out to hope lake uh and uh it, it just to me those rewards like i said in the story i'm i'm somebody who loves to have those kinds of rewards at the end of the hike um, I know the journey is is great and it is wonderful, but it is nice to have something at the end of uh, the trail, whether it be a waterfall, whether it be a lake, whether it be some sort of formation. It's just nice to know that you're mm-hmm. hiking towards something like that, and and uh, you know, particularly water is is I'm drawn to that. Mm. Mm. It's the goal, you know. Yes, absolutely, yeah. and yeah. you know, I mean, 
like I said, the journey is great. I mean, that's, I mean, we're hiking. It's a journey. It's, it's wonderful. And then you get, you know, you get excited when you're, you know, that you're going to be almost reaching, whether it's the top of some mountain mm-hmm. point or whether you're, you know, you're reaching the, the mountain lake that's there and you get excited about it. And you, you know, there is that, oh, yeah. that reward, you know, not only the physical exertion to get there and all that you go through and the scenery that you, you know, co- climb through or trek through, but it's, it's that wonderful, you know, tangible reward at the end. Oh, and you and you you saw marmots. You oh, love marmots. Yes, I, I love, love them. them. They're so much fun to watch. I mean, you're just yeah. we're sitting there and we're we're uh, having our snack or whatever it is, and you know you're looking all over the place, <laughs> and they're all oh, they're just they're just they're scurrying so everywhere. Cool. <laughs> it's just they're just so much fun to watch. I love watching marmots. You know yeah, what? They're they're so cool. Cool. Apparently, there are woodchucks over on the on the east side of the country. Because we we saw marmots go into farmyards and stuff like that, and I'm like, it's a marmot, and people are like, that's not a marmot. I'm like, it is. I looked it up. They're like, it's a woodchuck or a ground ground hog. Ground hog. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, it's it's all it's all good, you know, to me. Whatever you want to name it, but it's a marmot, and they're so cool to me. They're awesome. They're they're yeah, and you know, it's like it. It's like watching, it's like going to a prairie dog town, so to speak, yeah, you know, and you're watching exactly. them go in, you know, they go in and they're tunneling and they go, mm. you know, and they're just, they're, they're hysterical to watch. And then they stand up on their, you know, mm-hmm. hind legs and like, it just, they're looking around and I don't know, I, 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 I love to I love it. wildlife. It's just, it, it's, it's fun. And if you just sit and you're quiet, you can see a lot. Yeah, oh, it's that, true. So true. It, it It's, you know, to me, when you look at, you know, getting out there in nature and being able to have that solitude is because you do work hard. Hiking is not, you know, just going for a little easy walk. Hiking is hiking. Yeah, and when you're up yeah. in the altitude, that's one thing I liked about what you were talking about in your article about at, at the hotel uh, or it's, it's the residency at the Lumiere that the chef's basket also had like a, a package to help you get acclimated to the area. Right. Right. You know, for climatizing, you know, to, mm. to, you know, help you with that. And, you know, they encourage you to, of course, you know, hydrate as much as you possibly can, which is the most sensible thing to do when you're in, in a higher elevation, especially for people that are coming from sea level. And there's a lot of people that come from sea level to Colorado and, or New Mexico, whatever. And they don't realize, uh, you know, when they step off the plane or whatever it is Mm. that, you know, they're several thousand feet uh, yeah. above from where they're comfortable, and all of a sudden they, you know, are, you know, they get Pass tired out. or get a <laughs> headache or, you know, but, but you know, the, 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 the worst thing to do is, you know, get off the plane, you know, and then go for a hike up in, you know, 9,000, mm-hmm. whatever it is, feet, 10,000, whatever, and have not acclimated to, to that. So I always tell people, people that come here to Santa Fe, because we're at like 7,200 feet, you know, just give yourself a little bit of time if you've got some mm-hmm. time you know, get acclimated. Yeah, that's good advice. Exactly. And and going up, I mean, this is like what you're saying, pristine wilderness where you're going through forests and you see those lakes. And I mean, yes. the lakes to me, uh, it's just like, you see these photos everywhere and then you're there. It's just like, yep. Oh, yeah. to me, those, those Alpine lakes are, are stunning. I mean, you know, you, you know, they're worth, they're definitely worth the effort that it takes sometimes to get up there, but they're just like, you know, you, you just come upon them and you're like, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful, beautiful lake that's surrounded by all these peaks too. And it's just, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's, it's, it's um, such a, such a wonderful opportunity for people to, to get that kind of reward. Mm. I, so you did that and then even the gondola ride so I mean I'm going you know the four seasons that right now we're recording this in the fall can you imagine being there yeah. now in the fall season the colors the colors mm. are just magnificent you know it's just we I was actually just back up in Colorado for a wedding and shocking in, Bold, in in Boulder of all I mean you know a, a beautiful town and you could st- I mean this you could start to see those the, you know just in driving and it just the the colors were just starting to turn and they were just it was beautiful it's oh. you know there's nothing more beautiful than fall uh in Colorado, but then fall in the Midwest and then fall I in know, New England you're, you're, and fall everywhere. everywhere. If you go to blendradioandtv.com, you'll see you know, your puzzle of Lake yes. Michigan in the fall. Yes. That was pretty. Yep. It's so pretty. Yep. Well, we did a little bit of Midwest in the fall. We did yes. a little bit of Colorado in the fall last year or 2019. I should. I don't know where we've been, how far, when, and how, but um, we were there and um, did uh, drive from 
Well, I know you did the Legends Highway, right? The, right. The, the, yeah, Highway of the Legends, which Nancy and I have done on and off throughout mm-hmm. the years, but never pieced it together like you did. And everyone watch for that article from Debbie coming up too. And um, we went through, you went to Kuchara. And yep. Nancy oh, and I yes. did that in the fall. We mm-hmm. drove from Walsenburg. We went to visit a friend uh, that we, I actually used to play music with her back in <laughs> when we lived in San Diego up in the mountains in Julian. She was my music partner. And so oh. we went to go see her. We went from one mountain town to there in September. It was mid to late September and went through Pagosa Ooh. Springs. And the drive was yes. incredible. But from Walsenburg, we went through the forest to Ch- Kuchara. Yep. And the fall colors were like, wow. And got to Kachara. I mean, these were all dirt roads, forest, you know, kind of. Right. I went to the dog crazy. bar. Yeah. And we went to the dog <laughs> bar and they did have dogs at the dog bar. And she <laughs> brought her dog, dog and her dog didn't like some of the people there, but it was fun. <laughs> we had so much fun. And there was like a, yeah, it was crazy. But these mountain towns like Colorado has these cool uh, communities and they just, it's, it's really interesting because it's such a blend. I get to use that word of people mm-hmm. from all Yes. belief systems of yep. politi- political systems or beliefs or whatever and but everyone i believe comes together over nature and the outdoors i think yeah i think there's, there's yeah, just that's that what healthy, they're attracted to yes yeah it's kind of like, like alaska maybe yeah I, I you know why i think you know the the motivating factor for going to these places like colorado like alaska like and just the motivating factor is going to be nature and the environment right and, you know and and so you know you you do have all that's the common thread that that uh, joins mm-hmm. i think the people that come there you know and also the people i think that live there too you know yeah, yeah. see that's it uh, you know it's uh, yeah getting out there i mean colorado i think we've did it so much too over our tour that oh, yeah. i could live there for sure but do do you agree about wearing layers when you go out because it could oh, be an 80 a degree doubt. day and then all of a sudden it's like 50 or something you know even even in, you know if it starts out one way it's it's invariably going to change you know mm-hmm. um, it could be from cold to hot it could be warm to cold yeah. you know you could have wind you could have yeah. rain you could have all sorts of things and so you know, just being a sensible hiker, you you have layers and you can take them off yeah. or put them on and as needed. And uh, you know, it's the wise thing to do because you certainly don't want to get caught somewhere without, you know, and be cold. You know, that's just not not going to work. You know, we yeah. used to live in Port Elizabeth in South Africa, and they used to call it the like four seasons every single day. <laughs> yeah, and it was true. It's like if you didn't wear layers. So you're yeah. going to be really hot and you're going to be by the end of the yep. day, really cold and anything could happen. And yes, the wind at three in the afternoon, here comes mm-hmm. the wind, you yep. know, so you have to have layers. But I oh, like it though. Doubt. I like having that season change, like or oh, that my. weather change. And, you know, it's like suddenly it's this and it's like it really I think um, Colorado teaches you humility you know, how, how powerful nature is. And so it, you know, when you're out hiking and it changes, you're like, wow. And the mountains are so big. Tell you, right. The photos you have coming up there, you're like, man, we're like little, little things, you know? Oh yeah. (laughs) It's it's, so little. It's a a very, you know, kind of one of those awe inspiring uh, experiences, I think, you know, every time I go and I'm in some place like that, it's like that pinch me moment, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, whoa, this is just, but it does, it makes you feel, uh, it makes you feel very small, you know, <laughs> in terms of, you know, but it also gives you such a respect for, yeah. for and, your and surroundings. When we, yeah, when we talk about that, you know, feeling humble when you go out to nature. Yes. It, to me, it's not a, I don't want, you know, we always talk about it, all of us that are out in, outdoors in nature, if I'd, we get all like that feeling of humility. It's a positive feeling. It makes yes, you realize how true. amazing this world is. And, you know, just when you think you've done everything, you realize you really haven't even scratched the surface. No. And no. so, so it makes much. you want to keep living and doing things and exploring yep. and go where no other man has gone before. <laughs> Probably <laughs> going where no other man has gone before. No That's other woman has gone. A woman. Well done. Well done. Yes, exactly. It's totally That's exactly. a Star Trek thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> so listen, at the end of all these adventures, because you hike, you get to eat, and I know... Like you are, she, you know, Debbie is the fire monkey and she needs her yeah. food. And I know like 
Colorado, you you had a good time. It looks like you got your fish because I know you love to eat fish. Was that trout that you got to eat while you yes. were there? Yes. Yeah, Rocky Mountain trout has got to be one of my favorite uh, dishes to have, and you know it's best to have it where it's where it's there and from and local, and uh, you know. But uh, yeah. I know that uh, meat eaters love the elk and the bison. You know, they're special specialties of the area as well, the region. So mm-hmm. yeah, and, and Telluride is really has no end to to. Uh, good food and restaurants and cafes and watering holes and anything else you want to need. That, that, that town is, is got it covered for, for sustenance, uh, whether it's libations or whether it's actual food. It's, it's awesome. a, a great, a great spot for, for good food. And uh, I don't think anybody, I think, you know, anybody, it, no matter what what it is that you want, you're going to find it there. You really are. So yeah, it's it's uh, that's what makes it fun. I mean, I I love you know I love travel and seeing places and experiences and all that kind of stuff and learning. But of course, I love love eating as well. So <laughs> yeah, eating's good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that's that. Handy thing. Both. And wine? Did you find good wine? <laughs> Oh gosh, there's yeah wine. You know, if you're a wine, a wine drinker, if you're a, uh, if you like distilleries, you know, craft breweries, if you like cool. coffee, you know, it's just uh, you know it everything everything mm-hmm. is is there for the taking, so to speak. Oh, awesome. see, that's that and breweries. Yeah. Yes, well, Colorado's big with craft beer. You know, just like yeah. Oregon is. You know, it's just it's mm-hmm. one of oh yeah, I hubs, see this. hubs for that. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's just. And what better thing to do than to eat or or drink whatever it is that, with a view, you know? I mean, uh-huh. it's just, it's, it's one of You're those things that You're talking to the queens of it. wine out on their hiking, uh-huh. you know? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> To me, that's it. You, if you're going to climb that mountain and you're going to acclimate to the 10,000 feet level. I mean, we were up there yesterday up in, in Asheville on the Blue Ridge Parkway. And we're like, we're going up. We just came yeah. from like, you know, Florida and all of a sudden we're up here. How did that happen? Manatees <laughs> to elk. Like what? Um, but it was beautiful. And I know you've been out here hiking and, and you know. Um, and it's really cool to keep going back to places over time, which is what it seems like we're all doing to certain areas. Yes. You know, Colorado has been one for both of us. Yes. Uh, you've Oregon, and, and we're going to yes. go through Oregon next year again. So I think it's kind of interesting how these places, to go in different seasons, even yes. if it's just a month off. You know, we went to a wildlife refuge in Florida, St. Mark's, and only like it was a week to 10 day difference was a change of what was going on with wildflowers and butterflies. It went from, oh, there's a few little butterflies and some flowers to, oh, my God, look at this. It's insane. So going back to places, it's a good thing when you can see that full picture, you know. So I think it's cool. Visiting visiting places at different times of the year gives you a totally different look at the scenery, you know, it's just, you know, whether you're there in the winter, whether you're in the summer, the fall, the spring, whatever, mm-hmm. it's, like, it's like going there uh, for the first time because you're seeing it in, in a different, clothed in a different way, you know? Mm. And listen, when your lodgings provide a washer and dryer and oh. breakfast that you can make oh. yourself so you can get out and <laughs> no. about when you're, and, and that's why yes. hiking places know that. A lot of the bed yes. and breakfast that we stay at, they know like, okay, if you're hiking, some do continental and put it in your room. So that, I love that. They, yes. yeah, because you mm-hmm. want to get out early. You know, we're like that. We're up at four. Let's go, <laughs> you yeah. know, and, no, and it's, get it's the true. crowds. So it I think, true. and a washer and dryer for travelers. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's heaven. That's heaven. <laughs> and when you don't have to share yeah. it with other people, uh, like that's even better. Because you and, know, and 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 it's you know this this uh, the Lumiere with Inspirato also. Uh, I forgot to mention that it has you know I mean there's you know these these the pools, pools. The hot tubs and the soaking pools and the dips and the cold pool and the sauna and you know it's just after a day hiking you wow. just you just you're thrilled that you have that opportunity to go from one to the other and just soak and and enjoy uh i think that that's your muscles you have to fix your muscles so sweet <laughs> yeah it's just so sweet to have that opportunity that's i i dig it i i want to go i want to go back there so everyone lumiere with inspirado.com also check out kindtraveler.com debbie's article mm-hmm. is up on nationalparktraveling.com and of course keep up with us at bigblendradio.com we air monday through friday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in Colorado, 
or in New Mexico where Debbie lives, but she's rarely home. It's 5 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> but so speaking of that, before we, we sign off here, Debbie, I know you're getting ready to do a whole bunch more traveling. Is this the northeast part? I'm getting. Yes. I can't yes, keep up with you. I the other day I was like, how was the northeast? You're like, I wasn't there. I'm like, oh. It's, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, going from it this past month, it's been like, you know, we were up in yeah. Oregon and Washington, then Colorado, and now we're going to coastal Maine for a while Ooh. as well cool. as doing some leaf peeping in New Hampshire and Vermont, but uh, I'm going to go up the coast of Maine and stay in some coastal inns and go up to Acadia and uh, do some hiking and uh, yeah, and and, and eat some lobster. So (laughs) awesome. 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 Okay. Well, have fun, fire monkey. Thank uh, you. Yeah, go go swing from the top of a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with 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 a, with a lobster roll in hand. Okay, yeah, That's right. right. <laughs> I want to see that picture. All right, thanks so Thank much you. for joining us. Thanks, thanks so much. <laughs> Take care.